the first. The only change for LSU is in right field. Pearson is out and Kling is in. I'll tell you what, their BP, the ball was carrying today. That one was lined just past the glove of Michael Braswell at second. So a one out single for Trey Morgan. Here's the one two. And that hits Cruz. You could almost check his swing there. I kind of thought that's what we were waiting to do, but. Call strike three. Mahoney gets Peloso looking, and that'll do it for LSU in the top of the first. They'll leave two. Casas is hit. So a one-out base runner for South Carolina here in the bottom of the first. When you think back, which is amazing, only had two hits in the preseason. You're scared right now if you're LSU to throw too many fastballs. That's ripped to first. Nice play made by Jones. He takes care of it, and that'll do it for the Gamecocks. Call strike three. And the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Mahoney gets Jones, his second strikeout. Call strike three. Mahoney gets Neal. Three strikeouts so far today for Jack Mahoney, and that'll do it for LSU. And he walks Leroy to lead things off here in the bottom of the second. Second walk issued by Ty Floyd. The pitch. It's ball four. So back-to-back -back walks here in the bottom of the second. And it's ball four. Third walk of the inning issued by Floyd is fourth overall. And the bases are loaded for the Gamecocks with one out. Hornung off second and Stone off first. And Floyd strikes out Wimmer. That's a huge strikeout for Ty Floyd, his first. So it's 0-1. How about that? The ball never lies sometimes, does it? Casas gets hit. Leekroy will come in to score, and South Carolina takes a 1-0 lead. Give Casas an RBI on the hit-by-pitch. How about that? Petri gets hit. Floyd hits back-to-back -back Gamecocks with the bases loaded. Hornung comes in to score, and South Carolina takes a 2-0 lead. To me, as I was doing the scouting report, Going the other way, and this one will head towards the corner. Stone scores, Casas scores, here comes Petri. He will be out at home, but Cole Messina drives in two on the two-run double, and it's a four-run inning for the South Carolina Gamecocks here in the bottom of the second. And we'll head to the top of the third. From Columbia, South Carolina leads LSU. Four and He brings great postseason experience to South Carolina. First walk issued by Mahoney. Three strikes. Mahoney strikes out Morgan. Fourth strikeout for Jack Mahoney. A little bit if you're LSU. Back to back strikeouts for Mahoney. He's got five here in the top of the third. Strikes this inning, getting the. Got him on the strike three right there. Swing at the first pitch, it's a deep drive off the bat of Tommy White to White. And this one is gone. A home run for White, his 11th of the season. LSU's on the board, they trail four to one. That's their third home run of the series and they've kind of all just been no doubters. I mean, you can see where that power comes with them, but we were talking about it right before we came back. Mahoney's still out there doing a great job, but Gamecock bullpen already made its way into position out there. Just Pitch count, but three of the last two starts have jumped up on him a little bit, so, but, and ball thrown back on a little Wrigley Field like out of our right field Gamecock fans. Well, uh, goes the other there. way on the <laughs> excuse me swing. And he'll get the second hit to ERA. Had that injury, there's a deep blast off the bat of Jordan Thompson. No doubt about this one. Thompson, homers for the second straight day. Add two more for LSU, they're within one. Yeah, and they've just kind of almost changed their approach. They've been aggressive throughout the series, but they have really jumped on the first pitch fastball in these counts. And I don't know if we gave enough credit to Tommy White. I kind of went back and looked at where his home run landed to right field, but that one right there is, uh, either one of Jordan Thompson's have been wall scrapers either. 
Now a walk for Brady Neal. Might get us a busy there, dude. To the at-bat coming. Got him. Mahoney strikes out Kling. Six strikeouts for Jack Mahoney. Be going from first. And Mahoney strikes out Dugas. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Jack Mahoney. Gordon that he's given in, you know, so that's what he does. He strikes out here against Edwards, two down. Here from Yukon, Oklahoma. Grounded to the left side. White has some trouble with it. And winner will reach. A two out base runner for the Gamecocks. Grounded to the right side, there's Jones. He'll take care of it. And that'll do it for South Carolina in the bottom of the fourth. He is, because he just hasn't been that guy. Well. Hard hit off the glove of Casas, who recovers in time to make the play and flip it to Veach. Credit Veach getting over, one down. The one, two. Did he go? Yes. That was 17. Veach strikes out White. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Chris Veach. Cruz and Tommy Wire as good as it gets. This one served out to center. It'll drop in for a base hit. A leadoff single here in the bottom of the fifth for Ethan Petri. He's aboard for the third time today. That, that inning had a lot bigger feel to it of what might happen. It's hit through the middle. Back-to-back -back singles for the Gamecocks here in the bottom of the fifth. Two on and nobody out. Brewer gets it down, and they won't have a play at third, they won't have a play at first. Edwards checked third, and Brewer runs well. Lee Cry out to left center, it drops in for a base hit. Petri scores. Messina will stop at third. It's an RBI single for Talmadge Lee Cry, and the Gamecocks take a 5-3 lead. Just you got no outs, you got your catcher running. I thought we might see him sending him as aggressive as he had been earlier, but I think he really did the right thing right there. Not to mention, you got four straight hits and no outs, but really a great on-base guy coming up in Carson Horner. Good awareness of his own. That one will get past Neal. It's a walk for Hornung. Messina comes in to score. Give Hornung an RBI in South Carolina. Takes a 6-3 lead. Kind of still trying to get in a rhythm. Ground ball to Thompson. Goes to second for one on a first. It's a double play. Brewer comes in to score. South Carolina gets another run. Pitches and got ready to roll. Herring strikes out Stone, and he gets LSU out of trouble. Page strikes out Jones. Third strikeout for Chris Veach, one down. Works a walk. So two on, one down here in the top of the sixth for LSU. Veach strikes out Neal. Fourth strikeout for Chris Veach. Two down. The one, two. Got him. Chris Veach strikes out the side. And that'll do it for LSU in the top of the sixth. They'll leave two. Kind of minimize that, and that's where his hit by pitches come from. Four pitch walk to Casas. 3-2, rounded to short, and it's booted. The throw is in time. Thompson recovers. And that's where these shifts, Dave, everybody, everybody does it now, and obviously in the big leagues, you're not going to see it anymore because they can't do it, but it just puts you in awkward positions to field ground balls at. And that's chopped to third. To second for one on a first. It's a double play. 5-4-3 double play, and that'll do it for the Gamecocks in the bottom of the sixth. And works a walk, a leadoff walk here in the bottom of the seventh for Dylan Brewer. Oh, got it down. Excellent bunt. That's a beauty from Lee Croy. The throw gets away. So the Gamecocks will have runners on first and second. Nobody out here in the bottom of the seventh. Called strike three. Herring gets French, one down. For the pitch and the umpire deems you ready, but <laughs> it, again, the last time it was a hit by pitch, that one a hit, so South Carolina hitters, well, well, you know what, we'll take them. Called strike three. Another strikeout for Herring, two down. Fly ball, right field and deep, Kling. 
to the track will make the play in front of the wall for the final out of the inning. So you don't want to mess around here. Did he go? No. This is David Savage over at third. So a leadoff walk for Peloso here in the top of the eighth. They do get it. There's a big strikeout. Austin strikes out Jones, one down. The 3-2. It's ball four. Second walk issued by Kate Austin. Austin gets Neil looking. Two down. The right side and through for a base hit. Beloso will stop at third. Impacts get it in quickly. Melosi locks it down. High fly ball, left field. Brewer back to the wall, and it's gone. A oh, blast from Dugas. And a big inning for LSU, a grand slam. We are tied. Coach Johnson talked about Dugas, and there's just one of those, I'd said it before, the last, you take that blueprint and we're going to make you throw strikes this inning instead of being so aggressive and pays off, but your veteran hitter and Dugas is ready to jump right on that fastball. Ground ball to first, Casas took care of it himself. Final out. Five or ten minutes. Fly ball center field. That now having to race in to make the play is the right fielder, Joe Bear, who makes a sliding catch. And works the leadoff walk here in the top of the ninth. So did his home run earlier almost left the ballpark. Oppo. Chopped off the glove of Jones. He recovers and he'll flip to Casas. One down. Productive out, though, off the bat of White as Cruz advances to second. One skips past Messina and Cruz. Up the middle and through for a base hit. Cruz will score. It's an RBI single for Beloso. And LSU has taken the lead 8-7 to seven here in the top of the ninth. Another look at the ribby single from Peloso. Pinch hitter coming out on us. We're kind of up here fighting to win a little bit ourselves. Right back to Jones who will flip to Casas for the double play. And that'll do it for the Tigers in the top of the ninth. 3-2. Called strike three. He's trying to get his name on that map. This one's lofted out to right. It's going to be a tough play, and it drops in for a base hit. A one-out single for Lee Croy. Kind of keep peeking through those numbers to see what we see. All strike three, second strikeout for Guidry. Tippett leads off first. Ball four. Braswell is aboard. Guidry strikes out Denny, and that'll do it. LSU defeats South Carolina 8-7.